friends welcome to youtube.com public dr wed channel i am dr p r patel professor head veterinary medicine here we will see bovine ketosis part 2 classification of ketosis this is important metabolic disease of dairy cattle friends here we will see classification of ketosis there are several types of the classification in various countries and as a clinician classification is important to understand the etiology of the ketosis so one classification is according to the season for feeding and production so in that the first type is bad season or starvation acetonemia this type of ketosis occur during summer especially dry summer during dry summer there is less availability of carbohydrate food and thus over carbohydrate feeding to the dairy cattle this carbohydrate is not available to the animal because the food is not available and this results in absolute lack of energy in the body and this type of starvation and acetonemia manifest nervous form of the ketosis in cow in the first we have seen bad season acetonemia here the second is the good season or well fed acetonemia here the season is good an animal is well fed this type of ketosis occur in autumn or winter and in a well managed well fed herd the cows are well fed on concentrates grass and crops but here the main cause is not the food but here the cause is excessive production of milk in high yielding cows large quantity of lactose is drained in milk this lactose is derived from glucose so indirectly there is drainage of glucose and there is hypoglycemia and ketosis the high milk production is too much that is beyond the capacity of this energy metabolism and this leads to a stress condition in the cow results in ketosis or acetonemia in the first two slides we have see classification according to season and feeding the second type of classification is according to primary or secondary causes the word primary means food is the cause diet is the cause secondary means the cause is other than the diet now first we will see primary ketosis it is also called as acetate acetonemia as it is a primary main cause is non availability of diet diet is not available there is starvation or animals are underfed so it is called as starvation or underfed ketosis or uncomplicated ketosis because ketosis is not complicated simple thing diet factor the feeding of very less quantity of carbohydrate 
than requirement. Carbohydrate feeding is not meeting the need of the requirement with high milk production. And thus, there is a inadequate energy intake during early lactation. In early lactation, there is high milk production. So this is common during postpartum period of high production. You know that after coming production increases and slowly increases up to two months. After two months of parturition, there is peak production. So this is commonly occurring from 10 days to two months after carbon. We have seen the primary ketosis where the diet is the cause. Now here secondary ketosis occurs due to any disease that cause anorexia or starvation. In primary also there is starvation because the food is not available. In secondary the desire to take food is decreased. There is anorexia or starvation due to other diseases. Food is not a problem, but animal has no desire to eat food. Here the sufficient food is offered, but the appetite of animal is reduced because of disease condition. Thus, the intake of food is inadequate and there is hypoglycemia. And anorexia associated with many diseases. Here I have mentioned very few diseases which are very common. The diseases are abomasal displacement, traumatic reticulitis, traumatic peritonitis, Matritis, mastitis, any severe painful condition also causes anorexia. The fever caused by disease is also causing anorexia. Pregnancy stress, sometimes animal goes off feed during pregnancy also. Retention of placenta and many other diseases which causes anorexia or starvation in this ketosis is observed. Friends, the third type of classification that is according to the clinical forms, clinical ketosis. Here there are four forms of ketosis. The first form is elementary or digestive form of ketosis. It is also known as feeding ketosis or ketogenic ketosis. The volatile fatty acids popularly known as VFA are produced in the rumen on microbial fermentation of carbohydrate. The volatile fatty acids are three acetic acid, propionic acid and butyric acid. This you know very well. Of these three fatty acids potentially ketogenic acids are acetic acid and butyric acid. The propionic acid is a glucogenic acid. So this acetic acid and butyric acid are responsible for ketone bonding. While the propionic acid is transformed to the glucose. 
there is excessive production of ketogenic acid results into the ketosis. Now here the all phenomena occur in alimentary and digestive tract. So it is called as alimentary digestive form of ketosis. It is due to the diet. So it is called as a feeding ketosis. Here it is due to ketogenic acids. So it is called as ketogenic ketosis. We continue here the digestive form of ketosis and we know that there is excessive ketogenic acids. The other things are excessive ketogenic substances in feed or ration also results in the ketosis. We have seen that acetic acid and butyric acids are ketogenic. But beyond that, there are certain feed, especially silage and hay, they contain excessive ketogenic substances to produce ketosis. Silage is rich in lactic acid. This lactic acid is ketogenic. The ruminal microbes convert this lactic acid to butyric acid. And you know that butyric acid is also a ketogen. Comparatively, hay is less ketogenic than silage. So remember this, silage is dangerous thing. And if the silage is prepared from a very succulent material, if the grass is very succulent, that silage is more ketogenic. Because the succulent silage has higher content of preformed butyric acid. It is already there in the silage and that is ketogenic. We continue here the digestive form of ketosis. It is observed that diet high in protein also leads to more butyric acid production. Butyric acid is a ketogen. High protein diet also provides ketogenic amino acids, certain amino acids contain protein and that is ketogenic and these amino acids are precursors of keto. So theoretically we have seen many etiologies how they are practically applied in practical feeding that is explained in this classification more practical way. In the digestive form we have seen that acetic acid, butyric acid, ketogen. Certain feeds such as silage, hay are ketogenic. Diet high in protein is also a ketogenic amino acid. So here the etiology is explained in a practical way in classification. This is the importance of the classification. First we have seen digestive form of ketosis. The second is nervous form of ketosis. In ketosis there is hypoglycemia and hypoglycemia is an effect on brain that causes 
nervous signs. Detailed nervous signs we will see in the clinical finding. An animal shows various behavioral changes. The third type is milk fever type of ketosis. In milk fever, we know that there is hypoglycemia. Sometimes, due to starvation or anorexia, the hypocalcemia is associated with hypoglycemia. And this hypocalcemia or milk fever is complicated with ketosis. Both hypoglycemia concurrently with hypocalcemia. So milk fever is complicated with ketosis. It is known as complicated ketosis. The fourth form is a spontaneous ketosis. The well-fed high-yielding cows produce excessive acetoacetic acid in mammary gland. Remember, here the acetoacetic acid is produced in mammary gland and is produced excessive when there is high milk production. This leads to high acetoacetic acid in blood and this produces subclinical form of ketosis. It is also called as borderline ketosis because it is subclinical form. In subclinical ketosis, there is no clinical signs but the blood and urine is positive for ketone bodies. This may remain as a subclinical or may convert it into or may become clinical ketosis. Friends, in the etiology section, we have studied the various etiology, how it is applied practically and that we have studied in this slide in classification so that it is easy to understand. Requested to share this information to attend their friends, to promote the channel, requested to subscribe the channel. Thank you very much for observing this video.